Brandon Stiles may not have been born when Rock was young, but he loved to listen to his dad's music collection growing up and do magic illusions. And by the time he was in high school, everyone knew he was destined for the stage. Grand Rapids, Michigan. I got out of high school. Um, I was already creating shows, so they were paying me to do the, my own assemblies and everything else. So it was already a business, and my teachers knew I made it in my mind because the class so I could do magic shows. Um, so right out of high school, I got signed to an agency, um, and I started doing isolated dates, corporate dates first, and I started building my show and building it and building it. And then um, once I got signed a few years out of high school, I uh, we did a lot of touring. So I was, uh, yeah, we did national tours every state in the country and I was their number one show for a big agency so they pretty much worked me nonstop. Um, we did just thousands of shows um, and the road didn't stop and I thought after five and six years you just want to go home at night. You After years on the road, he was offered an opportunity to start his own show in Orange Beach, Alabama, and later moved it to Owa in nearby Foley. Yeah, we uh, started in Orange Beach in a showroom over there, and we were really successful for a season. And then I seen this being built, so we decided to uh, come over here, and um, we just love it here. There's a lot of, uh, of freedom, and there's so much that's happening here, mm -hmm. and it's just growing so fast. For Stiles and his wife Diamond and daughter Bailey, having their own theater meant settling down in coastal Alabama and lots more family time. The Brandon Stiles Live Theater is located in downtown Owa, just north of the theme park entrance. Yeah, you're coming by the park entrance through Groovy Goat, and when you come down to the main strip here, you just take a right, and we're right across the street from the candy store. And you'll see Brandon Stiles live there. The theater is really cool. It's super intimate. There's no such thing as a bad seat. We sit about 100 people, but it feels like you're like right there. So that's really, people love that. And uh, just running a family show, you know, since we build everything, um, we hand built the stage and the illusions and the whole floor plan. So we, um, we just love this intimate setting. Thousands of people travel to coastal Alabama each year to enjoy the warmer climate near the Gulf of Mexico. Affectionately known as Snowbirds, Stiles wanted to develop a show that would appeal to them, somewhat different than his magic or variety show. I came down here with the, with the uh, variety show, and then uh, I built the magic show second, and we started choreographing and really working hard on that. And then um, the Snowbirds, I was like, oh, we need to do something, because I do have all these, I have an arsenal of impressions from Tony Bennett, Roy Orbis, and Neil Diamond, the Platters. Um, so I specifically designed a show for them of the 50s, 60s, and 70s where I can perform 40 different voices out of a suitcase. And I pretty, it's just a very unique show. And um, doing those genres, I was raised on those. And I love them so much. So every year I just wait. Now that I've created it, it's, it's a year old. We sold out every show last year. And um, I'm, just, I'm always so excited to do it. Because I, I love that aid, I love that, that group, and uh, I know that's what they grew up on. So, Trip Down Memory Lane was really designed to take um, them on a trip down memory lane. For people in 
the audience, a trip down memory lane includes dinner along with the show, and they are loving Brandon Stiles' engaging performance. I loved it. He's very talented and he's just very versatile. What would you tell other people if they were thinking about coming to this show? Oh, absolutely come. It's one hour and you'll enjoy every minute of it. He gets the audience involved as well, and so, you know, that makes it uh, very, very pleasurable. And there's oldies and stuff that you'll remember from years ago, and I caught myself, you know, tapping my feet and singing along, so it was really, really fun night. We enjoyed it. Yeah, we, this is probably our third or fourth show we've seen, and we brought friends, and we recommend it to everybody. Whether it's music from the 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s, Brandon Stiles is the man with 40 voices spanning the decades. And that kind of talent is truly unforgettable. For more information about upcoming performances, visit brandonstyles.com or connect with them on Facebook. How wonderful life.